But the the alleged claims, and the most fascinating one is this guy Bob Lazar, who claims to have worked at S4, which is a, one, a site four of Area 51, and he was on a program designed to back engineer this recovered disc. It's a fascinating story because if he's full of shit, oh my god, what a great story! This guy's pulled the wool over people's eyes for thirty years, right? Because he told the story in like nineteen eighty nine was the first time he told it, so it's more than thirty years. So, but he's also he has like real knowledge of the the area. He has real knowledge of Los Alamos Labs, where they they tried to say that he never worked there, but then they found him on the employee roster from the time he he went in there. People knew him, right? Like, it seems like the guy really was a propulsion specialist, and they really did try to get some off-the-fucking-beaten-path scientists. Like, let's take... Because they have to get fresh eyes in these things, allegedly, every few years. They bring in... But everyone's sworn to secrecy, and it's very compartmentalized. So the metallurgy guys are not allowed to talk to the propulsion guys, the propulsion... Right. No, no one gets together and goes, what the fuck is this? Right, like, they can't right. have a group of scientists. So they exist in a team form, and it just does, it doesn't work that way. They need more people. And he said no one was able to figure out anything about it other than there's some sort of a reactor that worked on some new element. It was theoretical back then, but now they know it's a real element. It was I discovered. mean, I, I will believe it. Like, I have no reason to not believe it and to certainly not like what I was getting at, though, is yeah. that like when you see an insane system like these helicopters and the, the, the goggles and then you see these insane nuclear powered submarines and these insane aircraft carriers like what we have built is so fucking mind blowing. Why wouldn't we think that we've hit some next level propulsion system and that the reason why the Pentagon is talking about out of this world crafts, they're obscuring reality. Like the reason why people are like coming forward and telling you about their experience in this program, like maybe that's obscuring reality. It might be bullshit. It might be that we, we the government and the military and the contractors don't want any of our enemies to know that they have some fucking bonker shit that can go literally like the speed of light. That we have. That we have. 